Hey guys, Uncle Mike here, reporting to you from the training room here in Avon by the Sea, New Jersey. Today I'm going to talk about your neck position when you're training. So, today I'm going through my workout uh, goblet squats, pull ups, push ups, kettlebell swings, and just a nice tight plank. Thinking about head position, where to keep your head, your neck when you're doing all these movements. So you see a lot of people, a lot of bobbleheads, people throwing their heads all over the place while they're training. You want to keep your chin tucked in, your neck back, your neck in a nice neutral position when you're lifting. You don't want hyperextension of the neck. Okay? Set yourself up for an injury. So, with that said, when you're doing a goblet squat or a front squat, any kind of squat, you want to focus on keeping your eyes straight ahead. Keeping that chin in. You know how we're always, if we're on our cell phones and we're texting, whatever the hell we're doing, we're hunched over, our necks are in this position, we're causing a lot of weakness in the back, okay, we're causing a lot of tension in the front, so we want to try to avoid that. So when you're doing a squat, so I'm just going to show you a goblet squat, set it up, first you got to set it up right, I usually hide the back, then catch it up here. And hold it in tight with the hand, it'll point it out. So, elbows are in tight. Keep my chin in, keep my eyes focused straight ahead. Right? Looking straight ahead. So, there's my goblet squat. So, same thing on a push up or a pull up. If you're doing a pull up, you don't want to look up, you want to look straight ahead. You want to keep that chin in. So, stay close to the bar, chin over the bar, looking straight ahead, under control on the way down. All right? Same thing goes for, for a push up. Line it up. And when you do your push ups, do them slowly. Don't flail all over the place. Keep tension in your upper back, tension in your whole body, chin tucked in, weight forward. Do them slowly. Right? Don't leave your neck drop like that. Keep it tucked in. Keep everything tight. No goosenecking. Same thing goes for the kettlebell swing. Set it up in front. Hinge. Reach. My eyes are focused here. Hike back. Okay? Notice the head. Everything's moving as one piece. All right, so, chin position, neck back, prevent injury of your neck, more efficient, safer, better for you, no bobbleheads, don't fling your head all over the place. Just think about that when you're training, the next time you're doing any of these movements. That's all I got. Have a great week. Peace.